You are about to hear a tale. A most horrific tale that took place near a small suburban town many years ago. There was once a simple, happy man with a simple, happy family who had a simple job selling life insurance to people in this simple, happy town. But one day, it became apparent that things weren't quite as simple or happy as they seemed. The salesman and his wife, burdened by growing debt and a sick child, more and more were struggling to make ends meet. Behind closed doors, there were no smiles and there was no simplicity. The salesman did what he could. Door to door, as the summer sweat trickled down his back, he wore his biggest smile. Knock, knock, knock. Have you bought your life insurance? The salesman said, but this quiet, simple town saw no need for such a thing. And as such, the salesman could make no sales, nor meet his quotas. Perhaps I need to smile more, he said to himself. And day by day, door by door, his smile grew bigger. His bills stacked higher, and his child grew sicker as his marriage decayed. And one dreadful day, while canvassing doors on a street at the edge of town, the salesman knocked his last knock and smiled his biggest smile. Have you bought your life insurance? The salesman said, and the last door closed in front of his manic smile as he felt a vibration in his pocket. Picking up the phone, he answered to be told that his final possessions were being repossessed and that he must declare bankruptcy. He clicked the phone shut, a strange smile stiff on his face, and after a moment's silence that seemed to last an eternity, his phone still held near his face, buzzed once again. He answered the call to find that his wife and child were in a car accident and were declared dead on the scene. He stood there, smiling, as tears rolled down his cheek when the door he was still standing at opened. He'd remained on the stranger's doorstep for 20 minutes and they were getting impatient. Hey buddy, I'm not interested, they said, unnerved when a face with red, crying eyes and a manic, toothy grin turned his head in their direction. The salesman said, My wife and child, they didn't have their life insurance. The stranger at the door, dumbfounded, slowly stepped back, about to close the door, when all of a sudden the cold grip of the salesman's hands around his neck tore him to the ground and stole his final breath. And as he faded to black, the last thing he could see was a slowly blurring, manic grin. And the last words he heard were, You should have bought your life insurance. It is said, that on that day, at the edge of this simple, happy town, a smiling salesman was seen, briefcase in hand, walking slowly into the nearby forest, never to be seen again. But I've heard stories, stories of people who went into the forest for a simple, happy walk and were met by an unnerving, smiling salesman asking them, Have you bought your life insurance? And then, there are the other stories of bodies found red around their necks and fear frozen on the face of their pale corpse with a pamphlet for life insurance tucked neatly into their pocket. <laughs>